In this video, I just want to cover the input parameters of lot sizes. So if you right click on the smiley face here on Magistic, go to the expert advisors in the property section. Uh, there's two different ways you can approach it. You can either have a fixed price or a percentage. In this case scenario, you can have a percentage of risk. So if you put 0.2, that means you're willing to risk 2% 2, 2 of your account on that trade. And it will actually calculate based on your lot size or your stop loss uh, will calculate the lot size that will enter the market. Okay, so I'm going to just change it back to one here. And here's an example that it's already placed a trade. So on the left hand side, after it places the trade, uh, I was willing to risk 1% of the account based on my stop loss level here. And you can see right here on the risk reward. So to, you can actually determine where your take profit level is once you adjust this you'll see that this uh, risk reward will change so you know what kind of uh, risk level you have with this trade opportunity. I'm going to show you a situation where it hasn't happened with this functionality. Here we have a situation where we uh, have not entered the market yet uh, but waiting for the, the hour to close. Uh, my stop loss is right here. Again in order for the percentage uh, type of uh, trade to work, you must have a stop loss be determined. Uh, if you delete the line of the actual stop loss, you can see that there's no stop loss. And when the parameter is met based on a percentage, it will not enter the trade. So uh, here, uh, let's say that my stop loss level is here. And based on the buy a sell command, if you drag it around, you'll see that the loss size will change. If the stop loss is closer, then the loss size goes up. If it's further, it'll decrease based on how far it will close or if your entry is a touch of the line. Okay, So there is a different way of using this, of course. Uh, let's actually look at a situation where it's already entered a trade based on a, a fixed price. So here we had a reversal pattern right here, and I was looking for a close above this line. Here was the entry point, and here was my stop loss. So you can actually place trades on an actual uh, figure itself on your, your trades. So if that is something that you like to do, you can go here in the property section, and you can, sh you can determine how big of a lot size that you want to trade with based on the size of your account if that's the way you want to place orders in the market. And all I have to do is save these settings. So I'm going to save the setting here on the 4-hour. Okay, and you save the settings and you can have it pre-set. Uh, so you can just save it, put it on your charts, and then once those trades are, or opportunities that arise, it'll have that fixed number for you to trade. So if you place more trades, you can actually have it place that one dollar lot size. So that's just a quick video of just understanding how the input properties of lot size works and hopefully this can help you take advantage of these training opportunities. Thank you very much.